another episode of Victoria 2 Into the Darkness. And when we last left off, we conquered a little bit of uh, Oman and, you know, started our, like, invasion speed. In fact, once these soldiers load up on here, I'm just going to keep them right here for, like, future invasions in Oman. Alright? But what else kind of bothered me from last episode, or what else kind of happened was that we're also in a war in Mexico, which, as you can see, isn't really our problem, but we're just watching America kick the butt out of the Mexicans, so, you know, great days today. I mean, Guatem Guatemala, not Guatemala, um, the central United, the central the USCA has been conquering territory for Mexico, and so has Venezuela, the most surprising ally I've ever seen in this game, which is by far the most sad thing ever. If Mexico can't even guard itself from a pathetic South southern american state like south venezuela i don't know at that point you really shouldn't be a country so the other thing that aggravated me from the other thing that kind of happened last episode that was a little bit like weird and kind of made me mad which i did look up which was why was portugal getting like this land and why has it suddenly jumped to like an important secondary power well I went in after the game, after the last game, and checked up on them, and yes, they actually did have the ability to uh, colonize these regions and, you know, expand right here and here. But the problem is, is that I looked into the technology, like, and I know this is kind of cheating, like, looking into the technology and all, but I didn't change anything, I didn't, like, give them any good ones, I didn't give them any bad ones, I was just, like, looking into them. And it wasn't like, it isn't like the Portugal's, if the Portuguese ever do rise to a great power, then good for them, but they're never going to stay in a great power. So, you know, they're not they're not really high on, on a radar. But anyways, let me just skip to the ending. I had more technology than they did. Like, throughout the entire lining, I had more technology than they did. I had more of the right technologies lined up than they did. And I had more just overall badass points than they did. <laughs> Okay, and somehow they got to colonize this place, which I think is just total BS. Okay, you should, no, 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 no. That state should not be theirs. This should not be theirs. This should not even be in theirs. They should not even have this. And they did not have the same technology. They did not have the same military score. They did not even have a base. I even looked up this. They did not even have a naval base near to, like, enact any of this. So... I don't know. I don't know if that's a major bug or something, but that really made me mad. That I lost two of my regions. My regions. I'm calling them my regions because they are my regions. To the stupid Portuguese. I mean, you might you might have some room for begging if you, you were lost to like the British or if it was lost to like um, the Netherlands or something like that. But I lost it to the stupid Portuguese. The stupid Portuguese. Ah, I don't know. So. You know, maybe in the coming future, that's something we might have to rectify. And it might be by force, it might be by, uh, crisis. Ah, uh, dang, we can't even do a crisis. Okay, it's definitely going to be by war, because I'm, I'm going to make sure they give us back that land. So, anyways, off of that rant, um, our next move is to either go to war with Egypt... Or Ethiopia. And I was thinking we should go to war with Ethiopia now. Because I personally uh, want to get established protectorate. You know, before they, uh, before the, like, Ethiopians gain, before they gain this part from, uh, Egypt. Which I don't know why the Ethiopians are winning. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to see who wins in the end. The Ethiopians or the Egyptians. It seems like it's a back and forth struggle, but I'm gonna get my troops on this board. We're gonna be landing troops in Did Japa Dupi. I I just totally butchered that. And then we're gonna go try to invade Egypt. And unlike the Italians, who lost so badly to the Ethiopians when they tried to colonize them, we're actually gonna do this right and just like destroy them. And the girl from Macon. <laughs> Macon. That makes me think of the uh, Walking Dead and the great game of The Walking Dead, which was the most greatest, like, the greatest, like, survival game ever. Anyways, continue. The, 
whole Latin tub must have weighed heavy on her body, fragile and worn for many years of abundant labor in the making gold bits, but her feet could no longer carry her. There in the dark where the shafts go, countless, countless volumes deep, she slipped and failed. Another girl has lost her life in a coal mining accident in one of our provinces, and the particular tragedy of the case has received national attention. How unfortunate that she didn't finish her job before before she died. Hmm. <laughs> just imagine how much of a just a uh, mean guy you'd have to be if you said that. I mean, I actually don't believe that in real life, but I don't know. We're playing this kind of like industrial thing, and how is our in immigration process done? I think we've increased the population. Ah. 7.2 infamy. Well, you know what? It's worth it. I'm going to be taking over a state that's like... 700 people strong? 726 people strong. That just means that for a couple of years, I'm going to have to like lay low. For like, infamy and stuff. Which is fine with me. And, oh! While we're here, we should be repaying our total... Our debt. Because we have tons of debt. And wow, we almost eliminated it right there. Let's just repay the rest. Because the rest we owe to our national bank. And voila! We're out of debt, people. All because I taxed the serfs like crazy. <laughs> and yes, uh, these guys are basically my serfs. If, if I must be honest with you, they're basically my serfs. And from last episode, everyone, we finally added the Swedish into our sphere of influence. So now if we look on the sphere of influence mode, which I actually do like. You can now see that the world is kind of really divided into all these powers with France. I think France is emerging as the greatest one of all. No personal bias taken. <laughs> Alright. So, while we're here, um, I'm just going to show off the different map modes. Mostly in Europe, though, because that's that's really where our sphere of influence is. RBA outputs. I zoom in for these ones because these are a little bit hard to see. Um, terrain, infrastructure, net political boundaries, diplomatic, uh, supply lines. Wow, our supply stinks. <laughs> Just gonna say that now. Party loyalty, uh, migrations. Hmm. Not as many as I would think. Oh no, that's ranking. Oh, migrations. Oh, not <laughs> everyone's leaving Austria. Yes, we, we don't love Austria anymore. Let's let's leave this country. Let's leave it. So how many... Like, where do we... What happens with us? Most of us go to New... Wow, most of us go to New Zealand. I never thought of that country. Okay, civilization level. <laughs> the Chinese are so backwards. <laughs> and Africa, just... Just red. Just red. Relations. Um, I, I guess the Spanish got wind of us trying to take them over. I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. Crisis mode. And anything else? There we go. Okay. Want to take a moment for that? Because it's very important to some people. I mean, to some people it's very important that, that you see the map modes and then other people it's like, what? Map modes? What are those? Um, personally to me, I actually like seeing map modes because... I don't know, they give a kind of personal sense of this game is really in-depth, and it really is. The Ethiopian Menace, they're coming for us. That's good. I really do love that event. Okay. And if Ethiopia really does conquer, you know, I kind of hope they actually do conquer this region back. Because then, once I gain my established protectorate, I'll be instantly able to just annex this entire region. Not even have to deal with much more, which will be great. But I'm not sure how long it's going to take. And lit arms! Everyone ready for the newspaper? <gasps> War between Bolivia and Brazil. The new party inventions. Prices rise. The breakthrough in Moldavia. Illness fear funds. Lucky relations. And the Nassau fears our might. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I think every time I hear that, I always laugh because I'm like, you're a little tiny state. Of course you would feel my fear my might. You would fear the might of the guy next to you more than you would fear your own might. I mean, it's just like, no one would ever respect a nation state like Nassau or 
Saxa Kong Grana. And I got the Kindness Belly, so we all know what that means. It's tea time! No. Okay. Now, the question is, is how far in the war are they? Let's see. So the Ottomans are going to try to take over Transjordan, Egypt Hall, and Lebanon. That's fine me. Um, now, how far is Ethiopia? Hmm. Alright. Let's see. How far... When will this roll off? September 19th, 1858. Okay, I'm going to just kind of... Fast forward it and see if the war will be over. Because if we can still keep this... Then, like I said, maybe we can just, like, annex them in one go. Which would be really nice, because then we can kind of gain more of Egypt's lower sphere and... I don't know. Gain a better foothold in this region. And how's the American war going? Mexican-American war? Uh... I think we're winning. <laughs> Our diplomatic relationships now increased. Market regulations. Time to increase this. And wait, wait. Do we have a culture? No, we still don't have emancipation. Dang, I am really leveling up my characters. Or my, like, empire. Because it's like the third time. I've, like, had no... The beliefs must be respected. Like, no, uh... Uh... I don't know. Technology, I think it is. And there we go. Egypt lost the war against the Ottomans. Which means at some point, we're really just gonna have to kick the Ottomans butt, because they just have a lot of territory we want. And... Transjordan, I mean, the Palestinian region... Looks like it's even going to be easier to take over now. Now that we have this right here. Oh my goodness. And the Toms is going to tell us marvelous news. The Hodenstein fears are coming. Um. Let the people have their faith. The prices rise. The Ottomans expand finally. Uh. New party. The linens. And just all this other stupid stuff. Okay. So, we're in the next year, and I really have to be watching this, because I usually don't pay attention enough. Clone military, we need Jindoism, honestly. Jindoism is where it's at. Um, I don't honestly pay attention enough to, like, what happens to my, uh, causes bellies. And honestly, if they don't do it quick enough, then... You know, I really will just go, like, take over them, and... Free trade. Come on, you can do it. I, I believe in you, e Ethiopia. You guys may be a pathetic state now, but you think of what your country can do with yourself. You can invest in schools. You can build an army. You could resist the Italians. I mean, there's so much your country can do. And I better stop right there. Okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a battle. Wow. Mexico actually won, and they actually want to peace out with us. Um, acquire, well, let's see, how much has the United States added as a world goal? They added those two, and I'm the leader of it? Yes, I'm the leader of this event, so, will I proceed with this? Yes. And America has acquired more territory. The Great Manifest Destiny is on! And, we do not want planned economy, and, we can, con we can apparently... Let me see. The Agars, or what is this called? We can create a state out of Algeria. Oh. Wow. That worked? Really? Huh. So apparently Agars, the state I was like half-heartedly thinking it would become a province, became a province. Huh. Maybe we can have the same conversion for over here. So I need to like become bureaucrats and yeah, just use the same from Agus. Huh. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome right there. Okay, April. Hmm. I honestly think the Ethiopians will win. I just need to <sighs> Okay, we want full citizenship. Yeah, we want full citizenship. Come on, Ethiopia. Claim those lands you want. Uh, and right now we're doing... We have lots of money. 
Um, and since long wait, the Monku Palmetto. I think we finally gained a core on something. So long live France. And I'll just be expanding our. I think a miracle. A 14 year old Bessin Summons has a first vision of St. Mary in a cave near Lourdes on the northern side of the. Okay, I don't even know what this is. In 1864, her visions were officially recognized by the Catholic Church, and Lourdes became one of the most important destinations for pilgrimage by Catholics. A uh, miracle? <laughs> I love that question mark. Question mark. We have to put a question mark after it. Okay? Conventionism. We don't care about planned economies because I don't have the patience to manage an entire economy. And that's the honest truth. Okay, July. And some- what? Okay, apparently our entire like- Oh, the capitalists must have had like a gigantic like railway run because our entire like land was now built. Wow. Okay. Kudos for us. And how are we doing in uh, Ethiopian? It doesn't... <sighs> okay, Bolivia fears on my... <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like they're... It doesn't look like they're going to be able to finish this one time. That kind of stinks. That kind of makes me feel down. I was, I was so hoping for like a bigger investment into this, but last month, as soon as it turns September 4th, I'm going to have to declare war, so also, I should be getting my troops in position, because we want to just have instant access to just go in and own them. Mm -hmm. What's the exact date, just so I can... Okay, you guys get a little bit longer, because I need to get my troops in position. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, okay. They didn't make it, so we all know what that means. Establish protectorate time. And I'm calling in all my allies to see who is my friend and who is my foe. If the Americans did not join in, that's fine me. But the Americans did join in, but two Sicilies betrayed me. Wow. That one's gotta hurt. I got betrayed by a little by a little Italian state. They'll all burn and suffer. And what? Ah, dang it! The Orion took power again. But actually, the tax system isn't that bad. So I'll keep the taxes because the taxes weren't that bad. Okay, and now we move in these guys. And it looks like this is a quite easy conquest. I mean, there's not much. Really not much else we have to do. And I'm not, like, going to, like, spread out my troops, like, far. Because I'm not sure what Ethiopians actually have. I mean, they could... But all we know, they could have a secret gigantic army somewhere hid by. Because they actually do, they have like, seven soldiers. Roughly seven soldiers around here, so. You know, it's a worthy sized army for what they have. And I would personally not want to deal with it. If we came around. It seems like we have a lot of factories still being built. Which is good. And we're now the third. Yes! What? We're now the third industrial power in the world. Which means we toppled... Ah, man, I don't remember the names. But we toppled somebody. Okay, now you guys move right here. We're just going to casually make our way to Gondor. And I know that's not Gondor, but it's Gondor. It's Gondor, everyone! The great white city. We're going to go towards it. And then we're going to see Mordor over here. Yay! Good references and lit haunts. War between France and Ethiopia. We made the front page. Yes, that's what the France is always making. Always making front front page news. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really, you know, in hindsight, I really, really wish I would have brought more troops, but mm. you know, 
I'll combine my troops if I see any more, but I'm gonna stop these troops from being make from being made. And just kind of spread out my uh, market. And diplomatic influence. Okay. Go right there. Okay, we are all ready for when we need to like for when we need to like start doing the colonization technologies. We are all ready. Like we have them all lined up. The beliefs are be respected. We have them all lined up. We have troops waiting on the borders. Literally. I mean, we're all waiting for this. I mean, we're still, we still have some regions we have to go do. All right. Mm. The region of Ethiopia is going to take a little bit, but, eh, you know. And lately, these episodes have been pretty long. Like, just long. It's not, like, intentional. It's just because, like, I want to provide one war every single episode. So that it kind of, hmm. I don't know, balances out in the end? Because I kind of have, sometimes I have really, really short episodes because, I don't know, they're just kind of like boring or they're just kind of like nothing happens. And we're going into debt again. Look, we owe the French National Bank, which the National Bank could not support us. So now we're buying from the Swedish, who I'm pretty sure we're going to bankrupt soon. Alright, move these guys down here. The horsemen are almost done up there. Okay. Move these guys over here, and let's take over the capital. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. You just gotta love the Victoria music in this. I always got like a kick out of this music. It was tax efficiency. Good. We need more taxes. Let Tom's Denmark fears that we are coming. As for relations, prices collapse, invention. Okay. A lot of useless material stuff, but you know, it still makes me laugh. And <laughs> how's our Swedish allies? Good as ever? Good as ever. Mm-hmm. I got Sweden. <laughs> The biggest accomplishment, I guess, in this entire game. Okay. Keep going in. We got some more morale stuff. Um, naval plans. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go down the list here. Cause we need to, we need to kind of spread our army a little bit. Intervene immediately. Ah, dang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Hmm. Man, if you guys just had done that war slightly quicker, you probably would have, like, I don't know. And it seems like the Civil War has started, everyone. And let me see the sides. Hmm. Uh, the South has a decent... Whoa! Never mind, I was about to say the South has a decent army enough, or a decent thing to win, but it seems like the South actually might pull ahead, so... Woo! And for those of you guys who don't know the Civil War, the Civil War is a big thing in the United States that... Oh my goodness, I didn't pay attention, what the heck? Okay, I lost some troops, um, I'm gonna hope they retreat it. No, they did not retreat, we just lost, like... I don't know how many troops... Um, I, I don't know. I, I didn't even get to see how big this stack was. I hope it's not very big. Because I personally really don't want to buy another army to go send them down here. Let's go deal with just some... Some... Oh my goodness. That is not a tiny stack. Well... Right, you know what I'll do? I'll pull my army from the Suez Canal. <laughs> it's a good thing I have this army over here. I will use this army to go... The things really start getting bad in Ethiopia. 
we have a second army going down there to go help. Which, you know, in hindsight, I probably should have brought him down quick sooner. Or in a much quicker margin. Okay, you guys go down here. And mm, I'm and I'm kind of worried now because I'm not sure if my troops are. I mean, I know we're imperialists and all that, but the Ethiopians historically have always had great troops. Even to the point where they could resist colonization. So, you know, just kind of worried here. Just kind of worried. Right, you guys, go next to your nine stack army friends. We're going to try to create a kind of good stable front over here in, in Ethiopia. Our little vassal guys. Army conscription. Alright. Iron bullet rifles. Mm. Okay, there they are. There's that nine... That nine millimeter army. Man. Seriously, I wish they could, like, gain what they wanted to before they, like... Before I went to war with them, but it seems like they're about to get their butts kicked by, uh, what is it called? E Egyptians. Which will be our next conquest, so I want you guys to stay in tune for that. But first, you have to, oh shoot. We're gonna have a big battle here soon. Okay, France, don't let me down here. You guys really need to win this battle for us. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we won. We won. They... Yes! Okay. That just made me proud to be a Frenchman. The fact that we could win that battle right there. I mean, it was a little bit close there in the beginning, but... We won in the end. So let's just help our friends... Oh, in the back. Let's just help our friends right here. Go crush these guys. Uh, tensions in Greece, uh, I just, I didn't even, you know what, let's, let's do it, why not, and make create a fast point, and socialism, so Karl Marx finally came out into the world, so, we're gonna have him, Oman Mike, and you guys offer me a piece, yep, proceed. Whew! Dang! Where did my army... Never mind. Go right here. Alright. We did it, everyone. We have French Ethiopia. And next episode, this should all actually be... Corrected, and we can start, like... Going in and doing stuff. But, for now, this episode's... Been kind of fun. We have the Civil War of America going on. We have our plans slowly falling into place. Like, just slowly, and I'm happy that they are. And maybe there's, like, a Flashpoint crisis. Ah, dang. Alright, there is no Flashpoint being, like, initiated right now, so... I don't know what's up with that, but... Anyways, see you guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe next time.